Okay, you guys. So the first thing that I really wanted to say before we really get into the meat and potatoes of this video is that um, I do not believe in diets. I am not a believer of diets because I feel like diets are um, short term answers to long term or lifelong problems, almost a band aid on a leaking pool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, there, there's that. Um, however, I do believe in lifestyle changes. The reason that I don't like to um, get into the idea or have that mindset of like, I'm going on a diet because I've done it before. And, and I feel like it's very, it was for me, like, first of all, all of this is just based off of my opinion. There's no right or wrong answer here. So please don't jump off the cliff on this one. Okay. Don't do it. Okay. I'm just saying for me, it created a very unhealthy, um, mindset and a very unhealthy way of like thinking about things. Um, now, the reason that I am in 100% agreement with lifestyle changes is because with having lymphedema, with having lipedema, this is the body that we have. There is not much we can really do about some of these things. There's, there's really not much we can do, okay? So you know how the normal person, they, they put themselves in a calorie deficit and then boom, they've lost all this weight. With having lipedema and lymphedema, you guys know like, it just doesn't happen that way for us. So for me, the lifestyle change was the only thing that I could really do. Um, I was having a lot of problems with pain, with inflammation, I developed plantar fasciitis because of my legs being so swollen, um, so inflamed constantly, like all the time, almost to the point where I could barely do my job. Like I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I do hair all day. I could barely stand for long periods of time because I didn't really understand what was going on. I didn't really understand it at all whatsoever. So when I realized like, oh shoot, I'm dealing with lipedema and lipedema, let me go talk to my primary care doctor. Now I know everybody has um, their own like experiences with this. I know that some people say that their doctors, they don't listen, they don't this, they don't that. Find somebody who will. If they're not willing to listen, find somebody who will. You are paying for these people to have jobs essentially, okay? So if they're not listening, find you somebody else. I I love my doctor. She listens to she listened to me and got me the proper help and I was able to go to a physical therapist that understood and recognized with what this is. Um I don't want to say disorder cuz I don't want to claim that over me, okay? Um but she understood what it was and those were I took the necessary steps to get the help and I was very grateful for that. Okay, y'all? With me doing the lifestyle change, um, I would say between, seriously, for like the past six months, I would say for the past six months, I've been actively working on being healthier and having um, this lifestyle change happen. So I would say at the beginning, like at my absolute worst um, as far as the way I was feeling, the way I was feeling about the way that I looked, the way I was feeling about food, you name it. Um, I probably was at like seriously at about 209 pounds. Now I have been heavier before, but I also have venous insufficiency. So I wasn't really dealing with that. I, I don't know if if it's because I'm older now and that's why I was in more pain or what have you, I'm not really sure. But at about 209, I was experiencing a lot of pain. So that's when I started going to see the physical therapist and everything like that. And right now, I am about 170, 173, um, just the depending. Y'all know how it how the weight thing fluctuates with us, okay? One minute, we, we lose, we gain, we lose, we gain. It's kind of like that. So I'm about 170. Like 170 first thing in the morning. There's that. So for me, like I'll say I lost 30 pounds. Now here are some of the tips that I would have given myself at the very beginning knowing what I know now. The number one thing is just realizing or acknowledging the problem. 
And I am speaking for myself. If this does not resonate with you, you can just click out the video and go about your business. Don't leave me no nasty comments, okay? Um, I realized that not only did I have lipedema, I had a, a very unhealthy relationship with food. Um, and meaning like, I won't get like too into it because it's just, it's probably like too much for y'all to hear. But like I had an unhealthy relationship with food, like things that would give me like anxiety. Um, sometimes when I would be sad, like homesick, different stuff like that, just different life things happening, life, life thing. I would get really just kind of down and I would eat because it would make me happy. Like I would go out to eat. I would be happy again. I would buy food. I would be happy again. And that was just my relationship. It's like, even to the point where like, you know, and I know people still do it. And I'm not saying it's wrong, but like, maybe I would have a disagreement with JR and then I would go cook and be like, here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? Anyways, so that would be like me and my relationship with food. Like, seriously and then sometimes i will go all day and eat nothing and then sit and just like scarf down food like i don't think that's really i don't think i was supposed to be doing that i don't really think that is healthy i don't feel like the way people eat there's a right or wrong but it's like certain things are just not not healthy so acknowledging that i had a problem was the first way that i was able to help myself get better so once I realized I had a problem and once I realized I was in a lot of pain, then I was like, you know what? I, I can no longer help myself. I have to, I have to reach out to my village. So I then reached out to my primary care physician and I let her know what's going on. I let her know like this was going on. I'm in pain. This and the third. And I, am interested in hearing more information about maybe taking the medical route to helping me with my weight to relieve some of the lipedema okay and at the time my mom like had all, always been pretty fit and just really kind of on top of her eating and things like that um she's like way on top of it now but back then she was still like really on top of it and i remember my doctor telling me like yes you can do that but jada i want you to go see a dietitian first and i'm very thankful to her for that because she could have easily just gave me something and sent me on my way but instead she wanted me to talk to someone and about like my eating habits and one thing I will say when you go talk to these people if you can be honest because I feel like being honest is how they're going to help you because I know some people they're not honest for whatever reason or they don't feel comfortable whatever the case may be and they feel like they can't be. Well, I was honest. And pretty much at the end of the conversation, the lady was like, well, there's not really much that I would say if you're telling me the truth that I can help you with. The only thing I would say is you're truly not eating enough. And when she said that, it kind of stuck with me because it's like, I'm not. I'm really not. E I'm not eating enough. I, I am. But what I'm choosing to use for fuel it's not enough to really fuel and sustain me throughout the day. So absolutely, I'm not eating enough. Got it. After the appointment, me and my doctor, we um, came up with a plan. And that is when she introduced me to Trulicity. So that's number two. That is the second thing that I decided for myself on this lifestyle journey. I decided, okay, let me help myself and relieve myself of this bad relationship with food okay now trulicity there's a lot of different things a lot of different factors with it but one thing is it kind of curves your appetite so mentally for me it kind of psyched me out of thinking like i was always hungry you know and then i would be eating bad or eating fast food all the time or whatever the case may be it kind of like curved my appetite where mentally I wasn't really thinking about food. I just really wasn't. So I have been taking that on and off for about the six months as well, like on, on and off. And about midway through, I was like, man, 
this is not really doing anything in the sense because i'm i was thinking i was taking it like this is the magic red pill this is the magic blue pill whatever you know how you know the little thing i'm like this is supposed to make me lose weight like why am i still the same size why am i still in pain like i wasn't in like i was still in pain but not as bad like it was believe it or not sustaining some of that pain where it was like it was there but it wasn't as bad so i was like okay because i stopped taking it for a little while because i'm like what is the deal with this like this is not this is this is not doing anything so what i realized is okay jada you're still not eating right you're taking a medication and i'm definitely somebody who doesn't i i don't deal with medications i don't take medications i just try to just you know i'm i'm cool without it so i'm like what is happening and finally i realized like girl you're not even eating right like you're still eating shit excuse me and you're expecting these crazy results or something like you went and got a daggone tummy tuck bbl lipo or something like that and you didn't you know what i'm saying so i made an effort to then talk to my mother and we we had like a little thing back and forth where it's like okay we got a pinterest board she puts like things that she eats in there and i was kind of like watching her transform her body no longer dealing with like arthritis and things like that like that just dis disappeared like all of these issues pretty much started to disappear as she started to change her eating and that's when the third thing clicked okay follow me follow me follow me here right so imagine you saying i'm hungry at work and going to get um let's say i don't i don't even know burger king or whatever and that burger king meal with a drink is 1200 calories and then you on the other hand have a big um quinoa salad with grilled chicken and and all of these things and chickpeas and all these filling things and you may you know treat yourself to like a diet fizzy drink or something like that at 650 calories and the portion size is way bigger than whatever you bought at burger king and that's the moment where i was just like wow like are you are you kidding it, it's just like a light bulb clicked and top on like you know, a little light bulb on top of my head yeah that happened and then i ended up downloading the app and i'm gonna show you guys the app i'm gonna put it in the clip here that i got at the start of me having the lifestyle change and the lifestyle change was the eating so i would pretty much every day and i did it for about i would say like 30 days maybe maybe two months a month and a half where i would insert everything that i ate and I would check the, the the calorie tracker and all and all of that. And it would leave me with a certain amount for the night. So I would just eat what I would eat. And I noticed, I'm like, man, I'm not even hungry. I'm not even craving anything. There's nothing wrong. I don't feel like I missed out on anything. Like, this is amazing. And as during this time, like my physical therapy had ended, I still have my pump. I don't get in my pump as often. But that should tell you something. I'm not in as much pain. I'm not nowhere near. Like, I I sometimes just would cry. Like, just go come in this closet, y'all, and cry. Because I'm just like, what is wrong with me? Like, this cannot be life. Like, I cannot maneuver through life like this. This is, this is not what I want for myself. I don't know what's wrong. And I feel like, as a Black woman, you just have this idea of like let me just push it off i'll be strong i'll be okay it'll be all right where people don't really hear you when you say you're in pain or just a woman in general you're you're in pain nobody's really listening to you they're just thinking ugh, you're just complaining but anyways so pretty much number three the the lifestyle change and the eating tracker is also something that helped me in the whole lifestyle change in general so basically i try to create meals that are fulfilling meaning like me i love rich food i love cultural food um being married to somebody that's african also being around other ethnic groups like 
a lot as a young adult as well as an adult. I just really love comfort food and ethnic foods. I do not like bland food, y'all. I need some Caesar. I need some some curry. I need all of that. Some scotch bonnet. Like, that's me. Like, I, I love that. So, just finding ways to put what I love into my everyday lifestyle change. So, another thing I would say is just be patient with yourself. We didn't just wake up here. Some of us may have, but not all of us. I'm speaking for myself. I didn't just wake up one day. I kind of did, but I did. I wasn't necessarily born in this body that I have now at my age. It's something that kind of gradually happened. So if it took this amount of years for me to get here, it's going to take some work to get back to a point of where I feel good about myself. I feel good about the way that I look and I'm just happy in that. So for me, it's like, Give yourself some time. You know, don't allow yourself to get super hungry to the point where like you're just after whatever is going to trick your mind into thinking that you're full now because that's really all it is. So let me give y'all a little tip here. So this is what I do. When my mind says, Jada, you're hungry, right? And I'm at work and maybe I don't have something right then and there that's of su substance that I should be eating or I forgot to bring something or I was just rushing. I'll literally drink water. I keep water on me. And I sip it until either my mind is like, oh, you're good. Or if it's still saying you're hungry, then I know for real I'm hungry. Because half the time, we're not hungry, we're thirsty. Because if you've made it so many hours without any food, nine times out of ten, you haven't really drunk nothing either. Not no water. So when you look at it like that, it's just like give yourself time. Take the alternative right. You can start with something small. Like the way I did when I first started was choosing water when I ate over juice, over pop, I said, you know what? Every time I eat, I'm gonna drink water. And that was kind of like the start of me taking accountability. Like, it's just small things. It's really, it's really just small things. Like, I didn't go on no diet. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't even believe in that stuff. Like, I enjoy food and that's okay. Like, at first I thought, I'm like, there's something wrong with that. No, I, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy food. So like rice was every day every day i had rice now it's like i don't even i don't eat rice i haven't had rice in probably the last 60 days but if i want something that's like rice i'll switch it out for like a quinoa um and just a small a small portion of it and you can drop some garlic in there um you can drop some peppers in there to kind of give it more flavor a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and it's pretty much good just as good as rice more filling if anything you know so i think like just showing yourself grace and just realizing like this is a journey it's literally a lifestyle journey everybody's body is different my body is different than the next person body and that's another thing like sometimes i feel like because i'm i'm in two groups on facebook and if you have lymphedema lipedema you know what these groups are. You, sh you, I'm sure you do. And I think that sometimes people try to compare other people's pain by what they look like. So if you don't look like me and I feel like I look worse than you, then you cannot be in the same pain I'm in. That is asinine. Like that doesn't make any sense. You should worry about what's at your front door and just support your brother, your sister, support them and just worry about what's at your front door, not comparing. We're all we're all made up differently. Our our minds are all made up differently. And this is just a battle that I think we're better together than separate and just kind of going through this by ourselves with no direction. So I don't know, like I think if it wasn't for the groups, if it wasn't for my mom, if it wasn't for my village. I don't think I would have made it this far. Like, for the most part, I would say I was like up in an extra large shirt. I am comfortably in a medium shirt with no problem. I could still wear a large shirt. It's just more room. 
um as far as pants wise y'all know with lip edema your your lower extremity sometimes you can have it uh, obviously in other places but your lower extremities tend to be a little bit larger bigger butt bigger thighs bigger calves um i do have smaller ankles but i would say like pants wise um i was trickling into like a 18 16 18 like it was pretty much like that and that i had never been into like i was never wearing um size those sizes until you know it got pretty bad so i was like this is not this is no longer comfortable for me this is not my comfortable space so i think i would say now um i'm in like a 12 i'm in a 12 now i was able to go into a store and just put on a pair of jeans and they came right up and i was like wow that's different so that was a, a win for me because normally I have to kind of try on a couple a couple pairs. Sometimes none of them work. They're so big around the waist. And you know, y'all y'all know the deal. So yeah, so I would say, you know, taking some of those tips and incorporating them into a lifestyle change versus a dietary change is going to give you more longevity in this fight. You know, because I do know some people choose to go the cosmetic route with dealing with lymphedema and lymphedema, but I don't, that's not an option for me. So I am taking um, the holistic route because that's all I have at this moment. And that's okay. That is okay with me. And y'all, don't be afraid to include your family in this. Like I had to tell, tell my family, the people that I live with, this is, I cannot do this with y'all wanting rice and stuff every day i can't it's not gonna happen it's not working so i make them eat what i eat like i grocery shop i mean you don't have to be that extreme but i feel like my tribe understands that and they support me and they don't try to fight me on that so that's why like me i try to create meals around other things that we love we love to eat I substitute things and kind of tweak it and, and make it work. That's pretty much it, y'all. Like, this is just some real talk chit-chat. Um, let me know if you like these style videos. I know sometimes I can be, like, rambly, but it's just the way that my mind works. Like, I know some people have all of these super structured style videos where they're like, bullet one, bullet two, bullet three. But, y'all, I am, like, a little freaking mouse in a cage like just everywhere but that's okay it's just my personality so i hope somebody somebody out there understands what i mean by that and that was another thing i had i was experiencing a lot of brain fog like extreme to the point where i'm like is something wrong with me up here because i i couldn't remember things i couldn't stay on task it was just very very hard and immediately when I started changing my eating, that was one of the first things that I noticed. And I remember telling my mom, like, my mind seems so clear. Like, I'm really like up there. I'm I'm, I'm awake. Like, I'm I'm moving around. I'm awake. I'm not forgetting things. I'm able to do what I have to do throughout the day. And the anxiety and the cloudy brain is not getting the best of me. And that was another big thing. But yeah i think i'm gonna do y'all let me know if you want to have videos where i like show pictures of meals and then give you guys substitutions for those meals because that's something that i really um enjoy kind of doing like this or that type of thing how to substitute where you're able to get more food um in a healthier way and still get like the taste that you want because y'all i'm gonna tell y'all a secret this is the last thing I'm going to tell y'all and then I'm, I'm going to get off here. So I love certain foods. I don't know what my my love for pizza all of a sudden. This is this is a new thing. Um, I've been kind of cravy with, with pizza. Pizza. I don't know. Tomato sauce. I think it's a tomato sauce. So I'm like, if I'm eating low-cal, low-sugar, how am I going... Well, low cal, low sugar, natural sugars. Like I try to just do natural sugars. I'm like, how am I gonna get pizza? Cause I can't, I'm not gonna eat pizza because I know it's not healthy. So what I do, I go get pita bread, pita, like a, a thin little pita bread or something like, something like that. Check it out, pita bread. Give me some, you can make homemade 
marinara sauce if you want to, if you have that type of time. But sometimes I'll just go get the jar of marinara and just kind of check out the stuff on the back. And you can do, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you can do vegan cheese if you want, low fat cheese, whatever, whatever your, your choice is for that. Um, and then I get some basil, y'all, some spinach. You could do turkey pepperoni if you want. You could do chicken. You Matter of fact, you could do the pita bread with barbecue sauce, with chicken. You can skip the cheese, add the pineapple. And I'm telling y'all, it's just like those little things that really do it for me. Like I get so excited talking about it because it's like, I would have, this was not me last year. Like I kid y'all not. September of last year, you could not pay me to think like this. You could not pay me to think that I would enjoy food in this way eating 10 times better than I was before. Like, no, I'm not 100% like, I eat so straight, this, that, and the third. That's not what I'm trying to do because it's a lifestyle change. This this is this is beyond right now. This is later on down the line. So that's why it's like, take it slow. Give yourself grace, okay? The small wins, you drunk, you drunk eight glasses of water, big up yourself, okay? You you decided, okay, um, I, I'm not gonna have any dessert after after dinner. Like, come on now, like, don't make it so serious where it's like, why so serious? You know, like, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, we we have to be proud of the things that we are able to accomplish in the moment that we are in, okay? Because what would life be if it was so rigid and like, like that? Like, no, I can't, I can't maneuver through life like that, okay? I have to small wins be excited. I am like that kindergarten teacher that's like, good job. I mean, that's just my personality. Like some people can get with it. And some people are like, Jada, what? And that's okay. I got to get off of here. Um, thank you for listening to my rants. Uh, I'll have another one for y'all. Okay. This, this is, I, I love the rant. So I'll have another one for y'all. Um, if any of this resonated, just let me know what y'all think in the comment section like i'm trying to build a community here even though there's a lot of things that are beauty related on my channel i'm also trying to build a community for people who are dealing with lymphedema lipedema and just you know what i'm saying like we can we can do this together because this is not this is not what people what people think and we are not our circumstances so with that being said, um, let me know if y'all want to get some more of like the cooking videos where I show y'all how I do how I do what I do and what options we have. Let me know if that's something that y'all want to see because I can make sure it, it happens. Okay? And until the next video, y'all.